In this series of videos, we're covering the steps to build the app similar to Brick Breaker. And we're setting up the basics first. Right? So in this specific video, we're going to cover the bouncing of the ball off the edges of the screen. So right now we have our ball moving around and eventually it'll hit an edge of our canvas. Right? So our, our canvas has four edges that we think of, but it actually has eight possible edges. And they are represented by the cardinal directions. Right? So there's north, east, south, and west, which is the ones we think of the four edges. But we also have the corners, because when a ball goes directly at a corner, it's going to bounce differently than if it hit one of the flat edges we commonly think of. Right? So we actually have four that we know of, as well as four corners to handle. Right? Most of the collision we're going to do is going to deal with the four corners, but for the simple ball bouncing, we're going to just use our edge. Okay, so if we think about our ball, eventually it will hit the edge of our canvas. And we have this event called edge reached, and it gives us an edge variable. So we can go on and do the mathematical calculations to figure out which way we want to bounce, or we can just use the edge and have someone else do the math for us. So if we look at our procedures, we have something called a bounce procedure, and it takes an edge. And the reason it takes an edge, because as we discussed, when we bounce off the east wall, we're going to go in and out that way, and that is different than bouncing off the north wall, right? So we can't simply have a specific bounce and one to fit all edges. We have to know which edge and then use that to bounce, right? So our edge reached event will be triggered as soon as the ball hits one of these edges and then it gives us the edge that it hit. So then we, if we pass it to this procedure, it will allow us to properly calculate the ball's bounce. Right? So if we wanted to do the math on all of that, we could go through and calculate the angles and the speed and then bounce off the edge. Okay? So that means we'd have to figure out which edge is which. So north happens to be 1. Northeast happens to be 2. And so on. East is 3. Southeast is 4. And then it gets a little weird because south is negative 1. So these become opposites. North and south North is 1, south is negative 1. And then east is 3, so west is negative 3. And then we have negative 2 for this corner, and negative 4 for that corner. Right? So our northwest edge, sorry about that, I mixed those up. That's the southwest edge, sorry, it counts in order. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. So our opposing corners are opposites and our opposing sides are negative 3 versus 3, right? So the absolute value of our opposing edges is the same, right? So, but we don't need to know about which edge right now because we're just going to use the variable that is provided that encodes that value. So if we were to put this in a label, it would be one of those integer values, and we'd see that as we bounced off the edge. And so now we have everything we need for bouncing our ball 
off all the edges. 